And if there are any children who are brave enough to come up here and join me, I would welcome you to do so. How are you guys? Good. How are all you children at home? Speak for them. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. So what did you guys do yesterday? Went trick-or-treating. Ah. And did you get lots of candy? And where is it? Did you not remember your pastor? <laughs> I stood out there in that line yesterday <laughs> and got nothing, which is by my wife's orders, which is probably good. Did you guys know we had uh, trunk or treat here yesterday? Did you guys come? No, that's okay. It was great. We had 566 people get bags of candy or more than that. It was amazing. Yeah, we were blessed. So that was yesterday. What are we celebrating today? All Saints Day. And what do we celebrate on All Saints Day? What do we remember? Yeah, people who are members of the church who have died, and where'd they go? They went to be with Jesus. Their souls went to be with Jesus. And so All Saints Day should be happy, but for some of us it's kind of sad because we think about our grandmas and grandpas and. For some of us, our parents, maybe our sisters and brothers, maybe our children that have died and we miss them. But Jesus has a great word for us because he says and promises when we die, our souls, the part of us that makes us who we are, well, the body goes into the ground, but the soul is with Jesus. And he keeps them with him. And they're happy. They're waiting. It's not the final destination, but they're happy. And they're happy because they know what the final destination is. And what's the final destination? Eternal life here on a new heaven and a new earth. Jesus promises that there'll be a day when he returns. We call it the last day. And with him comes all the souls that are with him in heaven. And they come down. And Jesus, by the same power that he created everything on heaven and earth, will raise their bodies up brand new, better than they ever were before. And their souls, all the sin and all the nastiness that are still in us are gone. And in brand new bodies and brand new souls, we get to stand next to Jesus. And next to those loved ones that have already gone to be with him, we'll get to see him again. We'll have bodies so we get to hug them again. And we'll get to hug Jesus. And we can spend an eternity hugging them and hugging Jesus and sharing his love in a place where there's no more death, no more sickness, no more COVID-19, no more wars, no more hunger, no more anything bad. Just his love ruling over all, and we rule with him. That's a pretty cool thing to celebrate, isn't it? And those are all the things that we celebrate today and look forward to. Let's pray. And you can repeat after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for the gift of our life. Thank you that our death means going to be with you. Thank you for your promise of eternal life that is to come with you and our loved ones. In your name we pray. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys for coming up. And I know you probably brought me some candy. You just don't want to share it with any of these people. So I'll be in my office after worship. <laughs>